Happy Tuesday. I am here with my Tuesday tips. Today's tip is for anyone who know they, knows they need to get more movement in their life. This is for you if you're at that place where you're like, okay, I'm ready. I need to move more. I know I need to move more. I know it's gonna help me feel better in my life. This tip is especially for you. Um, maybe you've been exercising for a while and then kind of like fell off <laughs> your habit of, of exercising and you're like, I know I need to get back into it. I feel better, that kind of thing. This is for you. This tip seems kind of simple, but I promise it will make a world of difference. So my tip, and I will explain it of course, is to surround yourself with people who have a positive mindset when it comes to movement and exercise. You see, most of us, whether you realize it or not, have some negative ideas in our head about exercise. And just a few examples, this could be things like, I need to exercise to lose weight, right? It's, a, it's almost like punishment, right? I need to just move more so that I can fit into that pair of jeans, um, that kind of thing. Maybe you believe that exercise has to be miserable, right? Like if I'm not dripping sweat and huffing and puffing and miserable, then it's not doing me any good um, kind of thing. So, and, and I could go on with this list. I think there's lots of these kind of negative ideas that we don't even realize we have in our head. So the absolute best thing that you can do is to start to surround yourself with people who have a positive mindset when it comes to exercise. If you don't even know like what I'm talking about, let me explain. So let's say, I'm just gonna use some examples here at the studio. Let's say you come in for your class. Maybe it's like a math class or something and you look around the room and there's some little small balls sitting out and you kind of look at your teacher and you go, oh, we're gonna use those today. And she says, oh yeah, we're gonna use the small ball. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna use it to put in between our legs and, and hold it and add it into our mat work. And she's excited about it. And you're like, huh, seems like maybe a silly thing to get excited about, but, but she is, right? Um, or maybe you come into class one day and you sit down next to a neighbor in class who you know and they say, hey, how you doing? And you're like, eh, I didn't really want to come today. I'm not really feeling the best. I didn't really want to come. And your neighbor next to you looks at you and goes, hey, well, I'm glad to see you. And you know what? We always feel better when we get done with class. So, you know, I'm so glad you came. I think you're going to feel better amazing. Um, another example that I often kind of get with clients is we'll be doing an exercise and they get, the exercise might be a little challenging for them. Maybe they get a little like wobbly or it's a challenge and I can see in their face that they're frustrated that they're, they're not doing it as best that they like or whatever. And I say to them, yay, the fact that this is a little challenge, that this is hard for you, that means we're at your working level. That means we're pushing you a little bit and you're gonna get stronger. Yay, for doing that kind of thing. Um, those are just a few examples of, of that mindset change of like, oh, exercise can be a good thing. I can look forward to exercise. I can look forward to my class, whatever it is. And the beautiful thing that starts happening when you start putting yourself in environments with people who start to think this way is that you start to think this way too. And before you know it, you're going to find yourself starting to be like, oh, I don't feel so good today, but I got that Pilates class. Like my back's kind of tight, but I'm excited about it because I know I'm going to feel better when I get done. Or maybe you go to Target and it's super busy and you have to park way at the end and instead of going like, uh, being all crappy about it because you got to walk extra, you go, oh, well, it's okay. I get some extra exercise and movement time in. That's a good thing when you walk in. Changing your mindset about exercise is going to change your life. 
It's gonna help you create regular habits and that in the long run is gonna help you feel better, move better on a daily basis. So let me know what you think about today's tip. Let me know if you've experienced this, you know, being around others who have a, a positive mindset and if it's changed you, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. And I'll look forward to seeing you next Tuesday.